Hello everyone, welcome to another video. We are at Goodwood Members Meeting, which is really exciting. It's my favorite event of the year. Let's just get straight into it because there is so much to see here. Practice starts very, very soon. All the cars are just warming up. And my highlight for today, for this weekend, is the aero engine specials, the Edwardians. You know that I'm dying to build one of these cars uh, and they're all here. Duncan's here with the Beast of Turin. Uh, Julian's here in his Sunbeam. There's a, there's a lot, there's a lot of aero engine cars here and I cannot wait to go and find them. So let's get into it. See some cool cars and some awesome racing. <laughs> wander around and I've found where all the Edwardians are which is really exciting I've had a quick look around there the Edwardian race the SF Edge trophy is about 10 o'clock in the morning that's gonna happen fairly soon so I need to make sure I can try and catch them I'd love to be able to catch them firing up and starting them up and heading to the fire up lane that's exciting then I've got the day to enjoy and the actual first race is at six o'clock in the evening uh, so the, the, the drivers have got some time in between if there's some problems if things go wrong which inevitably they will um, but we'll see, see if I can chat to a few of the drivers, have a look at some of the cars, get some inspiration, because one day, very soon, I'm trying my absolute best to build our own Edwardian aero engine special. I can't wait. So it's a twin overhead cam, gear driven, like a well, racing car, four, yeah. four valve yeah. cylinder with, wow. with rocker fingers which allow you to adjust the rate, you know, and opening. The pistons are new, okay. everything else, hot rods, crank, the lock is the same. The car's actually a replica of a Pikes Peak Hill Climb car. You know, and it looked just like this and it had a V8 engine in it. Then it's disappeared and who knows what it was or where it is now. And this is a closest can be built replica, really. Hopefully, we might get a ride up the hill in that awesome aero engine car. Here we go! <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> <laughs> It was literally yeah, like, it was, it was it bit, yeah. my <laughs> god. <laughs>
There we go, that was the practice race, done. It was absolutely brilliant, they sound so good, especially the Beast of Turin, my God, it sounds like a, 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 well, a beast, quite literally, racing around the track, it was brilliant. Had a really good vantage point as well, so I hope we've got some good footage. I mean, I'm a fairly terrible cameraman, I need a longer lens to zoom in more, but hey, it's all good. Um, unfortunately, some of the drivers did have some problems. One of them, the clutch went, Duncan's Fiat, the Beast of Turin, the, I think it was the water pump that gave up, so it was overheating. Uh, a couple of the others have had a few little problems here and there. They're going to be all beavering away now, working on them. So I'll probably try and head over there in a second, see how they're all getting on. Fingers crossed they all fix them. But, uh, the Sunbeam, Julian Sunbeam, was fastest, which is amazing. And that, I think, I mean, leave me a comment, let me know. But that body style was my favourite, I think. The bare aluminium, the long, big sort of bum coming out the back. I just think it looks beautiful. That is what I would love to build, a body like that. Streamline just a beautiful thing we could use the ranala of course to make the body uh, the Dirac was second place and it was so close literally I think it was tenths of a second between the Sunbeam and the Dirac it was just it was so so close so I think they're both going to be working away there now trying to get them in tip-top shape for the race at six o'clock but for now I've got the day to enjoy myself get some ice cream have a wander around see some more racing and some other cool cars There's a couple of hours left before the, until the race. Duncan is looking like he's going to get the Beast of Turin working again, which is good. Place your bets now. Who do you think is going to win? The Sunbeam or the Dirac or Duncan? To be fair, any of them could. Anything could happen on a race like this. Who knows? I want to be rooting for the Sunbeam because it just looks beautiful. But it's been so nice chatting to, to Duncan, uh, uh, Julian, and Ivan, the legend that is Ivan. So I can't, I can't possibly choose. Don't make me choose. But leave a comment below who you want to win.
Here's the sunbeam. This is the one that had some trouble. I think it was the clutch. to the top of the control tower, the very top of it. The old control tower for the start of the race. Their engines are starting up. They're about to hit the track. Ready. Who's gonna win? Who do you reckon? Here they come. About to head home I'm done I'm <laughs> my, my voice I've lost my voice my throat is killing me thank you to everybody that I've met that watches the channel that supports the channel that said hi I really appreciate it it's been lovely hearing from you all I've had a great day 
well done to Julian and uh, bring on that aero engine dead audience project I the, the hunt is on anyone out there that's got anything that I need let me know send me a message <laughs> thanks so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed the video leave us a comment below let us know any feedback thank you so much see you next week 5 p.m bye bye